definitely ahead of the curve. He knows that Kennen hasn't entered lane in the bottom, so where could M3 possibly find LGD? Well, they are going to go for it. Love City actually gets tapped first there. Good burst there coming through. Instant stun by Kennen, and PYL gets the kill. Loop is going to go down as well. PYL gets the double. Wonderful turret juggle. Remember, this is patch 5.4, so those turret hits do always continue, even if you flash away from them. I guess it's maybe a... Uh, unsung feature of Cannon Olds. Imp in a bit of trouble. Looper getting grabbed though. Good shield coming in there by Safeguard. And Condi gonna move in and try and get the kill. PYL body blocking nicely though. And uh, very early BF Soldus. It was an engage in top. PYL is looking for the death sentence. Beautiful hook there coming in there. And Imp finally claims the kill. But the flash charm in mid. Yeah, Dadi now gonna get aggressive on PYL. Lines up the hook. A good juke there for Dadi. Gravity field gonna come in. Slow there enough. Where this goes real aggressive. But Condi gonna ride in. Actually gets the next kill. PYL has to be careful. The ignite's down as well though and Lee Sin gets out safely. M3, Dade's been caught. Yeah, Dade, though, in the wrong position there, unfortunately. Does go down there. Second, like Chaos Storm is out. Wayless going to get exhausted and Spirit Rush out of the way, but he might make his way back in. One kill already down. PYL's dead as well. Wayless diving in there as Looper flashes out of the way. And Ip trying to go off there as Love City is going to get picked off. Now Candy could be in trouble. Akon lining up some more marks, but doesn't have enough to stun him up now. But Imp doing so much damage. Quick draws forward. Ward's down there with the trinket, but Candy gets away. He doesn't have Flash available to get the last auto, but you're opting into fights against a very strong mid game comp. Looper has health, but absolutely no mana. Looking for the passive to come up for the last possible spell. Acorn, yeah, can't make it happen. Imp's going to co collect another kill for himself. Now 2-0-3. LGD would like to do dragon, but everyone's very low on health. Speaking of straight to the dragon, M3 have already started, but it's only Kondos, Kondi soloing down the dragon. Dadi's going to come and try and relieve some pressure. LGD, they don't have their ultimates available, so this might actually be a Dragon Force from M3. Yeah, Akon to fight over. Instead, we'll just return to a bit more farming. Dade looking very healthy here as Akon trapped in the top line, nailed there by the Q, locked up there by Lupa, actually gets kicked with the Frozen Tomb on, and Lupa gets the kill. 5.4 yeah, with that channel, actually second game after yesterday. 5.4 with the cannon bus. Wants to try and get the steal. He kicks TBQ out, actually. That's a lot of damage on the PYL. He's flashed out. Dade in the mix, and Akon's going to jump in. The Dragon goes to Lisi, but a great ulti there for Akon. Gets the first kill onto Dade. They're going to run in, though, and LGD very low on health. Have to be careful. Condi kicks Akon in the face for the kill. TBQ just dodging the next Q there as Condi Ward hops towards him. Wayless now backing off with the Q as well. PYL gets his hook flashed there. The Q will go wide, though, and just the one kills there for each team. No, not even just an outer turret here to the name. The wave could continues here. Dade. It's, they almost instantly die at this point. If you had even more AP, it would be worse. This Wayless might have found a catch. Dade going to go into the gravity field. Done very nice. The Chaos Storm popped his over. Wayless will pop out. Looper, though, says you can't dodge this. Ulti for the tomb. And that's an easy kill for Looper. And with the rotations coming through, though, could be in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, a bit of a hilarious one. Well, Candy used the ulti a little too early. Imp goes in very aggressive, but Love City is here just in time. Condi going to join the party. Love City has to be careful, though. PYL actually gets the kill onto Candy in the backside. Love City just flashing the death sentence. Condi joins in to try and save him. Dade's here as well. Akon, though, is coming in the middle. Looper, though, locks him up with the ulti. M3 still moving through. There's the double for Lissandra. TBQ going to be the next target. Akon's ulti was good, but it wasn't enough. And it needs to be on time. Unfortunately, the big consistent damage dealer, Imp, was dead and the other one waiters hadn't rotated yet no damage to support the burst coming through from Akon Zonia's importantly not completed yet to give him the stasis to buy more time and M3 team fighting very intelligent very well and they're gonna take the third dragon as a result of that one fight here Wayless can't even really entertain a contestant Dade's positioning on this victor is just stellar and again it's night and day compared to his struggles in that game against OMG yesterday if he eats one of them he's gonna eat multiple as Candy finds PYL yeah, PYL, PYL is dead very dead there Wayless actually coming in forcing the flash out love CD roaming in there and just protecting from the potential jump in of the Rengar this has been a person who has been playing Lissandra and buying those CD CDR boots and dying produces that sacking CC, but in top, Akon's in trouble. Goodbye, Akon there. Candy gonna snipe it there with a boomerang. Looper didn't even need to ult, just hit the, hit the W there on M3. The rotations are strong in this team. Yeah, that feud is so much burst damage. It makes her a pseudo tank buster in the late game. And speaking of tank busters, we're seeing it in game. has been caught up there. Candy gets the first kill. Looper goes in almost instantly though to Graves and Imp. Now getting exhausted there as Condi gonna chase him. Nails the Q, they're gonna follow up there. Akon though in the back, looking for the flank, but Dada with a beautiful looking gravity field to zone him off. Impto gets sniped now by the victor. 
And that's 3-2 in favor of Master 3. Very, very smart team fighting. So much disengagement in the gravity field and the monsoon that was already used. M3 just stacking advantages. They've taken the early wave clear to excellent rotational play. Not things we necessarily associate with M3 on a regular level, and they should break the base. They do break it here. The inhibitor might even be under threat as well. Dade clearing out the waves. Acorn, no ulti to threaten with here. And Candy going to walk in and M3 get an inhibit under 30 minutes. They're rotating slowly. Acorn hasn't teleported. They're forcing the teleport now. Will he go through with it? He does. Yeah, they actually do complete the port here, so everyone in. Oh, Eklund a little low there, actually, getting poked up. But Dade flashing in, does a million damage out of him, but gets blown up there with a great hook by PYL and damage from him. Akon though, very low, will go down second, and Candy moving in there has popped the ulti. Going to keep chasing through. Condi hops forward there for the next kill. It's two for one already, and they're still chasing. Love CD going to be the Janna leading him in, and Candy just does so much damage. He doesn't have the movement speed now with the ultimate down. Condi goes for the flank, but it's going to be oh, caught. Oh, wait, let's get stale! There after the kick and Condi gets the trade kill. Nimp gonna go down to Candy, who is slaying people. Looper locks up TBQ and the ace is completed by Master Three. As you mentioned if John is the general in the front of the fight, you're doing so much damage. No smite available, but only PYL's death sentence. This would be a thing of beauty. I mean, Love City is gonna get hooked. PYL gonna entertain it, but Candy able to clean it up. Even a tornado there from Love City to keep them out. The Baron down there as well. Dottie's even starting to solo the dragon. <laughs> I mean, Dade's solo dragon. It's going to take a while. No Lich Bane completed yet. Went for the perfect hex call. You saw that with the Faster Moon and Chaos Storm. I'll check out Dade, see how he's going. He took about 20 seconds to do half the dragon's health. So definitely a fierce battle for Dade, but they'll take it down. I believe that's the fourth dragon already. I lost track of the dragon counter. That's another significant win condition from M3. You're looking, and all of a sudden, LGD just have no advantage here as Looper gets hooked. That was amazing by PYL. As TBQ gonna dive again, but Dade just does so much damage with this Victor. Love CD gonna get hooked up, but they're still chasing in. Condi gonna move in. Dade moves back in with the death ray, and it's just carnage here. Akon pops the odds. He's gonna get one kill. Akon very low there, but pops his zonies, but it's nowhere near enough. Victor gets another kill here and that's a four for two trade and that was an advantageous trade for m3 before candy even got to the fight eventually got there popped the ultimate but Dade, as you mentioned their chaos storm doing so much damage the baron buff minions now being grouped upon it's going to be at least a second inhibitor down and wayless all he can do is what and you know Dade looks much better on this victory today that's for sure but candy playing another great game here for m3 but credit to condi he has just gone off on lee sin today and justified absolutely the boost ability even the alacrity boots he's wanted to be everywhere Adam. super minions pushing in two lanes they'll eventually get this it's still hard for them to siege because again 500 range or less and that's the on the hunt who gets altered there Dada gets the first kill Acorn getting blown to pieces candy low but gets himself out pyl caught out by looper but the kill does go down Acorn though gonna get crushed Dada gonna get another kill no candy gets the next one whalers almost gets two shot there by the Dada damage he actually got a triple kill in and amongst all but four kills for two and m3 are gonna close out the game and candy he doesn't get the last one. Going in though. Dade looking for the snipe. Does go down there finally, but that's done. The game is over. Wonderful play from M3. It looked like a scattershot pick phase, but all the pushing power meant that LGD, they only got one turret that game piece.